Yo, what is up YouTube man? Today I'm showing you guys how to make the best two-way inside out playmaker on NBA 2K21 next gen. Let's get right into it. If you guys are new, if you would drop a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. With the position, we're going to go power forward, height 6'7". If you guys didn't know, power forward is the best position in NBA 2K21 next gen. The badges you get on this build is crazy. We want to go 6'7", 255 with the 7'2 wingspan. With the finishing, we want that driving dunk max. Driving layup, we are going to put it up to a 73. And the close shot, we are going to go up to a 68. I will explain all the methods of why I put attributes where by the end. For the three-pointer, we want to go 86. Here is a secret about the build. The mid-range cannot go above an 82 or you will get a different name. And actually, if you put it above an 82 and put all the other stats similar to this, you're going to get the name all around two-way. So, hey, if that's the build you're looking for, then this is a, a two-in-one video for you. But make sure it is an 82 or below to get the insi two-way inside-out playmaker name. With the playmaking badges, speed with ball, pat, ball handle, upgraded all the way, of course, pass accuracy all the way to an 80. That's going to get you those 20 playmaking badges. You're going to want to have speed, vertical, strength, if that's your play style, you don't have to do strength. I like doing strength because I like playing big man, and I like using the strength to my advantage. That's what the builder is all about, playing how you play. With the interior defense, go to 90. Perimeter defense, 87. We're going to go block all the way max. Got to get that. You know, it gives you Intimidator. It gives you Rim Protector. Those are two badges that I love to have for defense. And then as you'll see, the defensive rebound go up to an 84. That'll bring the offensive rebound to a 60 with it. And you have 6 finishing, 12 shooting, 20 playmaking, 19 defensive. Now, like I said, you could give up some defensive badges to get more shooting. You could give up some you know strength to get more playmaking do it however you want you see the takeovers limitless takeover so overpowered i don't think i cannot choose that as my primary but the secondary for this but i think i'm actually going to go paint intimidation and as you guys can see we have the two-way inside out playmaker name Jason Tatum is a pretty okay decent comparison to the build but as you guys know let's get into it sometimes they're not always accurate with the comparisons so everything is going to get a plus four once you get 99 overall so you're actually going to have an 86 midi 93 pointer driving dunk's going to be a 99 block's going to be in the 90s the offensive rebound is going to be a 64, so if you thought 60 was a little bit low, 64 is going to be a little bit better. 99 strength, 99 stamina, speed is going to be low mid 80s, just a well-rounded build. I mean, it's in the name, you're a two-way, you got defense, you got playmaking, inside and out, you're going to be able to score on the inside and out. I mean, it is about as accurate of a build name as you can get in this game you see we're gonna have posterizer on hall of fame slithery finisher silver with the last two badges you get 12 shooting as long as you got hot zone hunter deep threes maxed out as high as you can go you are good hot start will give you the takeover booster it'll make you be able to get takeover in just two or three shots even double takeover will be pretty easy to get and stop and pop if you like to dribble you know do a little curry slide and take a shot that'll pop up every single time and I exited it out. Let me go ahead and actually put those badges on. Even though it does not matter for this video. I'm going to put quick first step on Hall of Fame. Got to be fast when I'm dribbling the ball. Handles for days. Don't want to be on the ground exhausted because I got no stamina. And handles for days is going to help me with that. Bailout, ankle breaker. Ankle breaker gold is going to be super effective. If you guys didn't know, you could basically get consistent ankle breakers with that badge. Bullet pass or Hall of Fame. Is, it's amazing. I mean, if you feel like your passes are slow, basically put that badge on Hall of Fame and you're never going to feel, you're never going to throw a slow pass again. And then unpluckable, you got to have it or you're going to get ripped like crazy. With the defensive badges now, clamps gold, intimidator gold. Like I said, rim protector and chase down artist. That is why I upgrade block. Those are two important badges. If somebody gets past you, you can chase them down. You can get snatch blocks. Box and warm on bronze are both very effective badges. People sleep on them. And if somebody doesn't have the badge to counter the other one you have on bronze, they are going to get boxed out and they are going to get warmed around. Hot Starper is just going to help you get takeover when you're getting stops. 
if you don't want that, you can put on Pig Dodge, your defensive leader. Brick Wall, maybe you're setting screens on this big man, you know, a big man guard. It doesn't matter. It's however you play. You can be very versatile with this, like a lot of builds in NBA 2K21 next gen. Ankle braces, you might want to have that on bronze, just in case you go up against somebody who has seen one of my videos and he has puts ankle breaker on gold. Let me know what you guys think of the video. This is Tonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.